Let's now talk about Pakistan's hypocrisy in dealing with terrorism and human rights. It is here the state and non-state actors both are engaged in spreading violence and carrying out gross violations of human rights. A large number of people from various ethnic communities in Pakistan have migrated abroad and continue to raise their voice against injustice. They are now demanding intervention by the international community to protect the civilian lives that have been facing forceful abductions, tortures and even killings. Such protests by Pakistani dissidents in the West are common nowadays. They are Baloch, the Sindhis, the Pashtuns and even Mohajis who have been facing persecution and other brutalities in the hands of Pakistani security forces, terrorist groups and criminal gangs. Their family members, friends and even party workers have gone missing. Some were tortured and even killed by the security agencies. The Baloch National Movement has been raising the issue of enforced disappearances and extrajudicial killings in Balochistan by holding protests in Europe and other parts of the world. There are Pakistani intelligence agencies, um, including Pakistani army, are abducting Baloch uh, political activists, Baloch uh, writers, Baloch doctors, Baloch intelligentsia, and Baloch human rights activists across Balochistan. Um, uh, Dr. Deem Ahmad Baloch is an example. He's been missing for more than 12 years. Uh, Zakir Majid is another example. So there are thousands of Baloch students, doctors, lawyers who are still missing in Pakistani secret torture cells. For the past several years, the Baloch have been raising their voice at the United Nations in Geneva. At the 47th regular session of the UN Human Rights Council, the Baloch Voice Association organized a 3D photo and poster exhibition at the Broken Chair to highlight the plight of indigenous Baloch people in Pakistan's largest and resource-rich province of Balochistan. Pakistan Army has intensified operations against the Baloch in the past decade with an aim to provide easy access to China for its multi-billion dollar Belt and Road Initiative. The Baloch who have been demanding freedom from Pakistan allege that the Pakistan army is even providing backing to terror groups in the region to target Baloch women and children. Their agencies, their secret forces, they take human beings from the streets, from their houses, from schools, from colleges, from universities, from the uh, bazaar, daylight in front of many people, in front of many witnesses. They take them, then they disappear them. And this practice has been continued from more than a decade. The number of uh, uh, cases has increased uh, so much that there are reports that more than 40,000 Baloch people are missing. Uh, we have received, we have re received reports that many have been recovered, many dead bodies have been recovered over there. Uh, they, they tortured, mutilated dead bodies of uh, Baloch missing persons who got disappeared by the forces. Uh, then they throw their dead bodies, sometimes in streets, sometimes in a desert, sometimes on the roadside. Human rights violations in Pakistan are widespread. The Mohajis, a large Muslim community who migrated to Pakistan from India during the partition in 1947, are even facing the worst persecution. The Mutahida Qaumi movement staged a protest at Pakistan High Commission in London to apprise the international community of the state atrocities against the Mohajis in Pakistan's Sindh province. The army and other security forces in Pakistan are involved in the economic and physical genocide of Mohajis going on since 1992 with the launch of deadliest military crackdown. 